Okay, um, well, thank you for um, being here. Um, I've looked forward to this um, presentation. It's going to be a little bit different um, and we are going to go into some deep um, subjects. And as you can see, we are going to talk about transmuting chaos to coherence. Um, well, for those who don't know me, I'm a trading in, and investment psychology coach and I have traded for 20 years and I also teach meditation and I'm the author of The Buddhist Trader. So here's a little bit about me. Um, I started out at um, uh, Commerce Bank um, in Germany and um, went on to study the wisdom traditions. My, my journey, by the way, I should warn you, is probably very different from anybody else you, um, you will be hearing from today. So um, I studied the wisdom traditions, um, ufology, um, the impact of the environment on our brain and our general um, well-being that led me very deeply into the study of earth energies. And then I trained in energetic NLP. It's a form of a neuro linguistic programming. I'm a theta healer. I'm a, an advanced EFT practitioner. Um, and I'm a Yuzuri Reiki master. Um, I, I'm trying to teach um, a Reiki as well. And in particular, a thing called financial Reiki. And I've traded since 2001 and coached traders on achieving ultimately their human potential, because this is what we are really talking about, for the last 15 years. Um, before that, um, I've worked mainly with entrepreneurs and I've also worked with military um, personnel. So all in all, my coaching career spans about um, 25, 26, 27 years, so quite a long time. Um, so my uh, mentoring and um, is really about awakening your true potential and making you understand how universal laws work and we'll go into why that matters in a moment, how it works in the markets and of course how it works in you. And when you can un apply this wisdom, well, the result is basically you will find your unique kind of trading style and your unique investing mastery. And you know, this is really what it's all about for me. It's bringing out the genuine real you. So we will be discussing why trading psychology today is very different. In fact, I would say it's dramatically different from what it was 12 months ago even. Um, we'll look at to the um, issue of surrendering the ego and um, I'll talk a bit also about what it means to try and forecast in today's market, which is much more than forecasting the markets, of course. Um, and we'll talk about the understanding of oneness, which is all about the end of separation. And that's really the um, big cycle we are in today. And then ultimately it leads into really the quintessential question, how we can heal the trader inside. And if we do have time, We'll do um, a few Q and A. So, um, okay. Um, in a nutshell, day trading success and investment success, and there is ultimately really not a great deal of difference between the two. It's not about your indicators. And I know you are obviously, you know, quite a sophisticated audience um, as this is about trading psychology. So you will understand this. 95% of trading success is a mental. And there is no getting around this. It is all about you and the relationship you have with yourself. And I can assure you from my own trading, I've, I've traded effectively for 20 years. Um, I found that out the hard way. Um, I um, had completely underestimated how very different electronic trading is from visiting a trading floor in my um, uh, beginning of my career in um, at Commerce Bank. Um, they were still proper, there was still proper floor trading and the excitement and the buzz and ultimately your support 
that you get in that environment is something very, very different from um, trading as an electronic um, a trader effectively, which is what we all are now. And there is, if you like, no buffer zone between you, your own psychology, and the psychology in the markets. Trading of old used to be very, very different. And it's a, a totally different animal. And um, I know having worked with many professional traders, helping them in the transition um, to electronic trading, they had huge um, problems with this. And it's taken me a long time to work out why I had so many problems with my trading. And it is exactly this. Um, there is a, a separation. You are no more um, part of a group. You cannot be uh, suckered, if you like, into the energy of, of something which um, is ultimately very empowering. It's just you, you, and you again. And, and then on the other side, there are the markets. And the two have absolutely got to align. And if they don't align, you find yourself in deep trouble. And that's, I, I can tell you, it's happened to me. Um, I have got all the um, emotional t-shirts. Um, I've made all the trading mistakes um, because I just completely lost um, a grip of um, what it meant to be in, in my own personal psychological box. Psych when I say psychological box, I mean my emotional, my mental and my, my feeling box. I would completely lost all my reference points and it took me quite a number of years to um, pull all, all this back together. In fact, I, I'll be very um, open with you. It took me seven years. Funnily enough, I was talking to um, an Australian um, tr trader um, and coach um, today and he said, exactly the same thing. So um, I, I think it's something that is not very often talked about, the core of the difficulty. Um, you know, but what I'm just describing to you is really what it's all about. So now the big question, and, and you may think Mercedes is losing it here, but I, you know, if you bear with me, I'll explain to you um, what we are talking about. Um, the important question, I just see there is a mistake in that. The most important question you can ask yourself is actually, who am I? And the answer matters to your trading more than you may realize. And, you know, as I said, you know, this presentation is a little bit different. We're going to go perhaps we'll touch on, on quite deep subjects here. So in fact, from my perspective and in my coaching and in my mentoring, um, it is the foundation upon which everything else in your trading life and of course ultimately in life um, revolves and if you cannot answer that question to your own satisfaction well my question to you would be this how can you possibly find a trading system a trading style um, whatever it is a, a timing frame that is right for you unless you can answer these questions you will not be able to do this and there will always be a separation. There will always be conflict because you are operating from inaccurate um, or um, at best incomplete information about that foundational question. The, the real difficulty we are having, of course, is that most of us have never really answered that question. And where we are in life today, um, and it doesn't matter even if you say, I am just sitting in my box, I am not taking any notice of what is going on in the world around me, and that's perhaps not a bad strategy, you will be pulled into the overall energy in the field. And when I talk about the field, I am talking about the um, cosmic energies all around us, certainly the energies on, on the earth. You will at some point be participating and picking up on this very, very different energy. And I'll explain a bit more in detail about this in a moment. And that will lead you into a place where is certain um, elements of the energy from which we derive our information. Of course, um, energy ultimately is information. Energy is light and it is information. And since the energy in the environment is changing dramatically, the way 
we receive information is changing and the type of information we are having access to today is very, very different. And that is why I am saying today it is way more important to answer this question. It, it demands answering because we see ourselves in a different way. So in the past, um, this is actually a, a statement and I thought it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it, it really sums up how we have created reality in the past and until today and how it is very much being created in all corners of life, least of, you know, but not last in the market, last but not least also in the market. And the, the, the statement here, you know, I am not afraid of the world. None of you is ultimately afraid of the world, but we are becoming afraid of the energy around us, what is in the world, the um, fear that is being pumped into us from all areas. And you only have to open your email and see the number of emails you get from software sellers, from brokers, from investment companies who say, unless you are in this stock, unless you are doing that, there is something wrong with you, you are missing out. And this entire thing is about one thing. It's designed to make you consume something. It, makes you, it, it is designed to make you press that button in case you are missing out on the next great trade or, or the next um, big investment. It really doesn't matter which. Now this basically, this kind of setup is we could say man-made. It is not the orig your original blue blueprint. It is not your original template. It is something entirely different. And um, to understand this for what it is, is one thing. And that is, of course, always the start of something. And then the other thing is, how do I extricate myself from this and step into a very different environment? And that's the next thing and very important. So, and here we come to already, you know, an area which I think you can see we have an answer to, partially at least, why trading psychology is very different today. I have already said to you, the environment today is different. The energy in the field, the moment you step out of your, your home, it is different. So, of course, why is it different? Well, we are seeing something unfold which has been forecast for a long time, but forecasting something and understanding that something is going to happen and then seeing it play out in front of your very eyes is something very different and i can tell you i know what i'm talking about i wrote a few years ago when did i first buy the buddhist trader i think eight years ago and i um, talked about the unsustainability i talked about the end of the cycles in in that book and said something you know is is coming up and um, you know one could see the bigger energy of it without um, you know being too specific about it because you, you can't when you are forecasting something ultimately you are tuning into the energy you are not you cannot tune into um, the specifics of it all and I'll explain in a moment why that is so so um, okay here all of a sudden at the end of last year the writing was on the wall the energy really started to change and you know then hey presto um, you know the world has gone into um, the um, final um, decline um, an, an ending wave um, if if you like Elliot wave um, in a long long um, cycle so for many of us it the depth of what is unfolding the depth of the duality as it's playing out in the markets, in consciousness, in the energies, wherever you go, call it good, call it bad, and you know, all the nuances in between, I think has taken many of us by surprise to a point where you wake up and think quite often, my goodness, I don't recognize myself anymore, I do not recognize the world anymore. And this comes all from this place what we've seen in the slide early on where I said everything 
the way we have created has been through fear. We have not created from an understanding of how the universe actually works. Rather, we have been creating, not through our own fault, I hasten to add, through um, what is referred to as the Babylonian money codes. They have not been invented by um, the likes of you and I, but the Babylonian money codes are um, ultimately an energy that has been created here on earth thousands of years ago with an incredible in-depth knowledge of universal law but that knowledge has not been used for benign intent now this long cycle is coming to an end and we are in the last bits of, of the cycle. So what these codes effectively have done over many thousands of years, and this is actually a multi-thousand year plan um, that has um, unfolded over this period of time, it was designed to get us in, trapped in a matrix through the um, financial system. And of course, everybody is involved in this. And um, the idea is ultimately about controlling our minds, controlling us in such a form that we will be doing the bidding of um, a, a system that has been put in front of us, which simultaneously has disconnected us gradually from the essence of our humanness. Hence, I said to you also, the biggest and most pressing questions a uh, question we can ask is you know who am i today and that question when it's answered it will lead you to um, a completely new opening a new understanding of your own um, capabilities so with all the distractions in the world um, well basically you know it's been made up like a theater for us where we go to, to the next football game, to the next, um, watch the next golf match, watch um, the tennis matches, um, race car dra driving, you name it. It's all designed to get us outside of ourselves rather than bringing ourselves um, within back into our core center because whoever put the Babylonian money codes into um, a society at large, um, they knew that when we focus within, we create our reality because ultimately outside it's a projection. It is not real and it is something I, um, I, I teach the people I, I work with, how they can become literally fully consciously aware of, of the projection. There, there are ways um, we, we can do this. And when, when you get to see this, it's actually quite awesome because you stop being sucked into the projection as if it were the only reality there is. And you know, then simultaneously with this, you stop um, being, shall we say, handcuffed to your emotions and something very, very different um, comes from this, you begin to become aware of your, your original template and your template um, as a human being, which by the way was put here to, um, 200,000 years ago, is a template that is all inclusive and we have got scientific evidence for this now. Now, um, today is not the time to go into this. Um, so you'll have to take my word for it. We know that we came fully equipped. Our DNA strands have been cut off. And our job today is to really get back to the essence of us. And you cannot do that by um, sitting there mindlessly sort of jumping from one trade to the next. You cannot do it by sitting and watching, watching Netflix all, all day. I'm sure you're getting the point. So, you know, really what all this leads back to is what I said earlier on. We, um, we cannot create our best trading life unless we have a foundation. This foundation is missing. 
where we are emotionally, physically, mentally, in all areas of our life, last but not least our trading, is because of that the foundation has gone. Now, I'm sorry, guys, I, I might be going sort of deep, deep here, but, um, you know, okay, it's, it's just a little bit different from, you know, to what most other people teach. So, okay, now um, there is actually gold in your shadows. Your shadows being the dark side, of course. And um, now gold, interestingly enough, as, as well from a more esoteric um, perspective, of course, is also the color and energy of, of healing. Um, now, shadows are showing up everywhere. These shadows, they are not only in ourselves, they are also reflected outside in the world. You know, one, one quick look, outside go on your twitter account i mean you you'll see um you, you see it everywhere and um while it is usually viewed as very unpleasant because the mind does not like to pain it seeks pleasure now that's not necessarily a bad thing because the idea of seeking pleasure is a part of our innate blueprint you know we are we are here to fulfill ourselves not through suffering but through observation of what is our, in our template and then learning how to use this so unfortunately what has happened and i tried to explain that a little bit early on with the um, babylonian uh, money code um, system which has been here for thousands of years so it's become part of our template you know that was the idea so it's disconnected us from source as i said but it's also done something else it's instilled in us an incorrect understanding of our human psyche and how we have to deal with it. Psychology at large uh, used to be very different. It used to be, be different and, and it still is different. Many, many psychologists are still teaching this. You gotta clear your shadows, gotta, gotta clear your shadows, go deep into um, using, uh, doing the shadow work. I mean, we used to do EFT, emotional freedom to, um, um, techniques like this, you know, you used, used to go, um, you know, you, you tap on various meridian points. That's basically, you know, how it works and, um, you know, use a little bit of NLP and then you go into your shadow. So why am I hesitating? Um, why am I fearful? of losing um, in a trade. Why am I moving my stops? You know, and all these things. And you go into this and you go deeper and deeper and deeper into finding the answer until, you know, usually some deep rooted ex existentialist fear comes up. And guys, we all have them without exception. And they are all coming out, these fears are coming out now as we are being shown from every angle by the universe that we are we have created our world from fear not from the understanding that we are fully equipped and that we have everything in us to make whatever we want out of our lives if we want to be the best very short-term trader trading on a or over uni rank or chart or whether we want to be the best swing trader or the best investor it makes no difference the um the strategy ultimately is the same the only thing that's different is the time frame so by seeing the darker side of life and i always say um your level of enlightenment can be um, assessed by the amount of crap you can take without having to react to it. Now, you, you might again, you might think I'm nuts, but you see the point is this, when you understand how the universe really works, then you will also understand how we transmute the, 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 the darker side and um, we don't transmute it necessarily by de going deeper into it but a very important aspect of transmuting the darker side is by being able to look at it without judgment but looking at it 
with com compassion and compassion here means being able to understand what I am looking at um, and seeing it for what it is. It's the expression of a, um, shall we say, a on the one hand different energy and on the other hand a lower energy, a basal energy. You know, there are two things at play here. So when I understand this and understand the essence of universal law, then I also know how to deal with this. And that goes with anything, whether you look at um, the excessive volatility in the markets, whether you look at how the markets are, are played out, um, are playing out behind the scene, scenes. I'm talking about high frequency trading, um, naked short selling, you know, and, and all, all the other tricks of, of the book, um, which are out there. I mean, when you are able to look at this and tune into its energy, then you are well on the way of um, transmuting it. And that is, again, you know, something that is what my coaching is all about. That is what, what I teach all, all the traders who, who come in and, and work with me. So it is actually, in, in many respects, a very inactive approach. And, and that's tough because we have learned to, to be active, to be doing all the time. You are only worth something when you are constantly act, acting, whether that is over trading, sitting there, over analyzing, um, hopping from trading system to trading system. And I know, you know, so many of you, you have done this. I include myself here. I, I've done that in the past, you know, until I realized that's not the way forward. And in fact, it's exactly the opposite. You are going right um, on dual, dualition cause with the laws of the universe. Um, so, of course, all this, um, what I've just described, you know, the lower basal energies, they are all ego driven. And um, the ego, by the way, um, let me be absolutely clear about this. It has its place. Um, it had because it gives you an identity, but there is a difference of recognizing the ego as being a part of you, which is part of your fully functioning holistic template as a trader, as a human being, as a spouse, as well, whatever else you may be, a parent, um, whatever. But it is not the driving force of you. I mean, I remember when I first started out trading, and you know trading i was the trader i identified with the identity of the trader well that is an ego um, consideration nothing else so um however when i sit here and i have to execute my trade uh that is ego um and it's good that i have this because i have the desire to make a decent amount of money i have the desire to have flawless execution of my trades. So ego makes me make sure that I have a way that is in alignment with my personal trading plan, which is right for my unique trading psychology, so that I have a trading plan that allows me to execute my trades flawlessly in no time. So that is a good thing for ego. That's beautiful to, to use it for this. And you know, when I can go out there and, and do this and practice, um, now I can do it very, very quickly and you know, sort of quicker and, and, and quicker um, if, if need be, if that is my trading strategy, that's wonderful. So here the ego is very good. However, when I get to the place where I think, oh my God, I'm gonna lose on this trade, um, what if I lose on the next trade? I've just lost a trade. Then the ego shows its, its shadow side and the ego is moving into, you know, an expression of the basal energies, which are the survival energies, which ultimately cause you to go into chronic brain incoherence, 
And before you know it, you are in cognitive dissonance. And cognitive dissonance, which basically means, you know, you have no blood, no oxygen supply in the brain because it all goes into the um, fight and, and flight responses, you know, the lower parts of the body so that you can run away or fight or whatever, not appropriate in trading, not appropriate in life, incidentally if you want to manifest um, your desires. So, um, well, of course you can't think properly. You know, you are now, you know, you reduced to being in reactive mode rather than being in proactive mode. So, um, and of course, the way that we are living today and what's going on around us, we are all being challenged to remember this, that it is not action ultimately that creates change but it is being and here we come again so what does it mean to be human it means to find a way or shall i say a channel to find a better way of understanding going deeper into what life is all about finding pure human potential trading is one of the many channels available to you in which you can experience your abundance. And incidentally, to my mind, it is the most beautiful and ultimately satisfying and fulfilling way to see how the universe works, switch on a chart, you know, put on particularly a long-term chart and once you understand the laws of the universe, and it's, it's all there in one chart. So, yeah, and then you go to a shorter term time frame and you can see how it all plays out um, on, on a shorter term time, time frame. So in, in that sense, trading is a magnificent teacher if you manage to surrender from the ego needs and that's ultimately what it, what it is all about because you are pulling yourself out of that area where you are suckered into the energies all the time suckered into your basal emotions and instead you are coming to a very different sensation of trust when you understand the laws of the universe, how they apply to you, how they apply to trading, how they ultimately, which is really what we are saying, how they apply to your ability to manifest whatever you want in your life. And let me say again, this is holistic. This applies to everything. Trading, your health, um, your environment, which is there nothing to do with what goes on in the world around you. It doesn't matter. What matters is what goes on inside of you. And ultimately, how are you able to trust in the process of life? And I bet you the majority of you do not. And it's hard. It's very hard. It is extra hard when you look outside and you think, oh God, there are you know, people killing each other. There is so much negativity going on. How can I possibly in, uh, trust in life? Well, if you really understood the, um, the cycle we are in, you'd know that it is nothing else but a major transition. And as we pull ourselves out of that fear, we are consciously contributing to um, a, um, a lasting change, bringing more of our spiritual essence into everything we do, including the, your own trading. And ultimately, when you can do this successfully, you are also contributing to the um, reset of the financial system, which is, is you know, uh, upon us. But that, again, is, is another conversation. So um, now, ultimately, fear always comes from ego. It never comes from anything else. So, you know, therefore, you know, um, if you do nothing else and if you get nothing else from um, this um, presentation here, um, I would ask you to ask yourself this question every time you feel fear what where does this fear come from some you know a lot of this come comes from outside but you can only take it on if you 
there is something inside of you in your own personal makeup that can take it on. That part is ego. That ego is always, always some form of survival fear, be that related to money, be that related to your own very existence as a human being. Now, fear is transmuted through love. You know, it's not transmuted as often as thought um, through courage. No, fear, um, love is the opposite of fear. And therefore, love is the most effective energy with which you can transmute fear. Now, um, what we are talking about here, of course, is... Um, a different kind of love. I mean, it helps if you love your dog and, you know, love your home and, and whatever, you know, this gets you into an energy where you can train your brain, train your neural pathways to become more familiar with the energy of love. But ultimately, um, you know, there, there are other techniques where we go deep within the appreciation of ourselves and it is ultimately only what you can appreciate in yourself um, that you then will be able to bring forth in in your trading or in any other aspect of your life you have got to have it inside of you first and that means you have got to experience it inside of you first so let's look um, at the different cycles here in, in place sort of we um, briefly um, alluded to to this you know we are at the moment in a massive um, convergence of cycles and um, there it starts with the 26,000 year cycle and we have basically an interplay of all the um, cosmic cycles the solar cycles the planetary cycles which lead us to what we are seeing in the world today and right now um, we are in a conflict cycle um, that that um, conflict cycle um, will culminate um, you know for the time being um, January February next year um, then we have the larger economic cycles and the climate cycles climate and economic cycles are very closely um, interconnected and all this together, of course, leads to another cycle. And these are these, the cycles of consciousness. They are meta-spin cycles. And this big cycle we are going through at the moment is a massive consciousness cycle. And so, you know, really, you know, ultimately we are dealing with a meta-cycle which is influenced by all these other cycles. So we cannot take any of um, these individual cycles in isolation because as we are dealing with a break, breakdown of old structures everywhere we look, that is, you know, break, a breakdown in structures inside of our own um, matrix, you know, our own human energy systems are changing um, in preparation um, for um, the new alignment with the um, energy cycles in the earth, in the financial systems, in the um, health system, you know, socioeconomic system, wherever you go. So um, at the si same time, simultaneously, a new system is already put in place. It's being built, that's universal law, this is how it works. You may not see it, but if you gave yourself permission to see it, you know, a, a new magic in spite of everything, you know, would um, transpire for you, which you can learn to experience at your choice wherever you go. And of course, here we are, you know, I, I love this image, um, you know, the little monkeys, you know, around, um, you know, the monkey mind wants to check its iPad, wants to know the latest news because let's face it hey you know we we want the shit show to end we want we want peace and harmony that is what most human beings want so but whilst we are in fear and we are rattling on about what what is going to happen tonight what's what's going to happen tomorrow um, watch what the um, tv channels are throwing us up as us and wonder is it true is it not true we cannot free ourselves enough 
to open our inner core. The inner core ultimately is the heart so that we can see beyond the um, appearances you know it, it's really you know stuff like setting the intention to say look i do not like this this show on this tv tv channel you know i'm, I'm gonna switch tv channels and this is what we really have to do um, in order to free ourselves from the monkey mind and step into the mastermind. Um, so um, for me, incidentally, this has sort of um, meant um, about a year ago or so I decided, you know, I don't want to do any in intraday trading. I, I much prefer to go on, on wider time frames because it, um, to me personally, it speaks more to, um, you know, in, in inner peace and, and harmony. So, um, but you know, that is everybody's journey and of course everybody's um, choice, how to channel that inner independence and inner serenity from within in, into your um, outside training. Now, okay, when you are in a chaos cycle, of course, what, what's basically happening, you know, um, the boxes are breaking down. You know, there are no more boxes because everything goes off in a tangent. We are dealing with a 26,000 um, year cycle, uh, 100,000 year, 500,000 year cycle, plus all the small, smaller cycles, 500 year, blah, 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 further down, and they are all converging. And um, hence, everything is so intense and you know at the end of this year we are coming out of one of of the um, planetary cycles which hopefully will give us a little bit of reprieve um at least for, for, for a, a little while as the um, um unraveling hopefully will take on more order if we allow it because every single one of us is making a contribu contribution to it in the financial system and everywhere else make no mistake about it however universal law of chaos says when chaos hits basically no more boxes so um you know it means basically for the mind that loves operating on reference points there aren't any more reference points and this is what is happening on an esoteric level today timelines are collapsing um, new energies are being pushed into the earth and it's, it's sometimes very, very intense. And those who can feel energy, um, well, you will know what I'm talking about. You can feel when these waves of intense, uh, benign light energy are coming down, down on earth. And of course, ultimately, you have a choice. You don't have to take the energies. Um, or you take them on, if you do take them on, it means you have to radically change your, your entire operating system in order to live in, in these new energies. So um, now um, th this is, of course, all going on behind the scenes. Energy, as we are moving in, into the um, higher dimensional energies at the moment we are going through the um, fourth dimension and the fourth dimension is always very tough because everything is there there is good energy there is a very very bad energy that manifests in in in, in the um, fourth dimension and um, don't believe you you are in the fifth dimension no you are not we are in the fourth dimension on on course for those of us who are ready to move into the fifth dimension um, well, life will get a, a lot easier as, as consciousness then will have um, finished the um, evolution to um, the next um, higher evolutionary plateau. Now, also what we are seeing here, um, well, the Heisenberg principle, you know, playing out and the Heisenberg principle, of course, basically uh, pertains to um, the understanding that there is always something when when you observe the molecules in a petri dish there is always one stray guy out there so therefore whilst everything unfolds in a predictable and foreseeable order there is always one element that is in chaos well right now we are in in chaos you know um, so everything is in chaos that's how we are 
perceiving it because things are leaving the earth whilst you know old systems are leaving the earth new ones are coming in old system uh, uh, systems are leaving the um, trading arena new systems are coming in and i guarantee you one thing the way we will be trading in, in the coming years i um, it's very difficult to put an exact time frame on this it will change quite quite dramatically make make no mistake it you know it's as sure as, as god may made, made little apples so um, you know this is basically you know the nature of the um, big super cycle convergences we are dealing dealing here with and, and really everything goes now our minds are not equipped to deal with this the mind can only take in so many things it the mind relies on operating in order it, it likes to plan you know and, and we all do this because it gives us a feeling of safety and security you feel so much safer you know when you have done your um, analysis market analysis you know and hey presto the next morning you sit there and i mean it's a beautiful feeling things unfold how you expected them to unfold and in that um, we have learned to derive our security from being able to do this. Now, please understand that the world we are moving into operates on a very different operating system. It's not all going to come in all at once, you know, because, well, you can see it already, you know, where we can't cope, yet cope we must if we want to move to a better functioning and, and altogether much more pleasant and holistic way of um, being in the markets and, and you know really being in the world yeah no, i can't stress it often enough you cannot separate these things anymore it is all happening together and it all needs to be addressed together and that of course is the challenge we we are facing at the moment it's, it's our challenge today so um cycle convergences always lead to um, um, evolutionary impulses i mean look I mean, for, for those of you who do um elliott wave or use gun cycles um you will know what i'm talking about and um, you know therefore it is very important to look at the um, bigger time frames as well uh, even if you trade on a very very short term time frame because by going into the very big time frames and i'm talking about going back as much as a hundred years it'll give you tremendous insight into what is is around the corner can you trade of it maybe not but it'll help you to adjust your strategy um so uh, evolutionary impulses do the following things first of all they destroy absolutely necessary at some point when the clay pot has been broken often enough it's beyond repair that's where we are at the moment we are there in, in that place in the markets we are the financial system is there humanity humanity at large is at this point where it has got to destroy things and i'm not talking about destroying um, uh, beautiful works of art and um, lovely old statues by the way you know let's be absolutely clear about this this is a different form of destroying it, it's an energetic destruction of timelines where we have you know the negative um, you know the hurt that is still residing on timelines be it you know shall we say the holocaust 9 11 big one we went for this um, um you know the other day my my partner by the way he worked for Cantor fitzgerald and as luck would have it he was not in new york he was called to um, the london office um, to stand in for his boss on, on that day so um now we go every year we st still go there and that timeline is still pregnant with hurt and upset and this year has been very 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 powerful it, it's begging for healing this is not about forgetting rather it is about being able to look at something without you having to tune into the injustice the hurt and, and everything you know of, of 
you know, of, of this area. And this is what we are able to do here today. And by the way, 9-11 is, you know, something that permeates the entire financial timelines. You know, this is it, it, it's huge, 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 huge. Um, we talk about this in in the monthly co coaching course, this and, you know, other, other things so that we are able to help ourselves all to um, transmute this and free ourselves from the old way of ways of looking at these things. So as I've said, the reference points um, disappear and yeah, okay, people are fighting against it or wanting to maintain the status quo, it's not gonna work. You know, now is a time to surrender. It, it really is a time to surrender and go within and look at where you um, are inside what what is meant for you and align with that it's all about alignment so now in situations like this i want to say first of all this could have put that in a bit better order here the stock market does not mirror the economy the two are totally um, disconnected and if you go on longer char um, term charts you can see it now in at the moment, ultimately, there is no trend because everything is, you know, disintegrating. So that also means on the positive, positive side that anything can happen because the past, and I try to explain this to you, just the past is ceasing to exist. Timelines are being taken out. Now, ultimately, as we've already said, consciousness is the key driver today and it should be the key driver from your trading from now on instead of research because research keeps you trapped in the linear mind and you cannot see the future with a linear mind so and this is all what the healing the inner trader is all about the cracks are showing up yes we know that but with every crack there is also light so, and remember, not all cycles are linear because the meta cycles, which are the cycles of consciousness, are not linear. The um, other cycles, like um, cycles, for example, like the Kondratiev cycle and um, the um, astrological cycles, are where well, the Kondratiev cycle is linear, the um, astrological cycles are semi linear. So, um, if we do the right thing, we can heal the um, dualistic mind. This is what all these extremes are all about. And remember, love is healing and because it's the opposite of fear. So coherence of heart and mind is healing. And that's ultimately, well, my work, that's what it's all about, bringing the um, heart and the mind into coherence. So the benefits, you know, really, I mean, look at this, and these are scientifically proven benefits. Um, super telomeres, super resilience, super stress relief. Would that help with trading? Would that help with living in today's world? Heck yes. Super immune system, not only your immune system from a health perspective, no, your immune system from being resilient to what goes on around you. Okay, so here we are now a special offer. Um, this is my trading course, um, Improve Your Trading Mind in 21 Days. And um, now this training course is basically about everything I have explained to you about in, in this um, presentation. And we go really deep in, in, in that course in this, but ultimately actually what I'm offering you, you here today, it's longer than 21 days. So um, part is learning about the laws of the universe, that's a, a written part of the book. And then there is a very important um, section that deals with discovering the art of asking the right questions, because there is a simple law in the universe, ask and it is given. And if you do that right, and I can't tell you guys how often I have done this, and you know, even in, in the depths of despair, if you know how to ask, and how do you position yourself once you've asked the question? 
um, you will receive the answers. It, it is, you know, quite, quite um, magical, really. There is also, I haven't um, put that in here, a self assess um, trading psychology assessment questionnaire that's quite in depth. Um, um, and the course comes with a, a lot of um, exercises and, and things. You know, there are um, 20 audios. And um, then there um, is um, a 90 minute one on one coaching session uh, with me. Um, if, if you go to the website to, to look at the course, it's, it says 60 minutes, um, but I've decided to increase it um, um, to 90 minutes. Um, and you know, we can do you know, some amazing work in, in 90 minutes or, or thereabouts, you know, healing work, sort of realignment work and, you know, whatever needs doing. And then this course um, will also have a free um, a monthly group coaching calls. Um, these are um, calls, they take place once per month dealing with the aspects of, of the course. I do usually, I do one-on-one -on -one work, um, um, with, with traders where it's required. We look at everything, you know, it's totally holistic. We look at the markets, we look at the psychology, we, we look, well, you know, at earth energies, we look at the um, planetary constellations that, that are in play and, and what they, that means for our own unique psychology and of course for, um, you know, for um, the markets and, and how the interplay of the two. So here is, if you're interested there, I've, I've listed here um, the, um, the audios. So, you know, it covers fear, there is meditation in it, um, the um, uh, discipline in, in spirituality, how the, the job to work together, visualization, how to visualize correctly and most people don't do it correctly so you know this this goes you know it's it's very very profound um, you know that course if, you know if, if that kind of thing you know my work speaks to you of course so and then I have if you are interested to find out more you can go to mentorstrategiesfortraders.com and um, sign up as you go to to that page um, you know a pop-up form comes up and you can sign up to my um, trading psychology newsletter that gives you access to um, regular free webinars you know i do and you know stuff obviously you know access to um, you know wonderful um, um you know offerings like um, this today from timing research um with if, if you sign up um you know i've decided you know we'll um, give you a 30 minute um, presentation on creating brain, brain harmony with non-invasive neurostimulation, which is a fantastic, fantastic um, thing I introduce all, all my um, uh, coaching clients to. Um, and um, then there will be an audio, um, it's a 20 minute audio um, explaining on how to evolve the inner trader. This audio focuses on uh, meditation. Um, so, okay.